Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Check out my apps on Apple and Android so you can get my sun sign horoscopes, my daily tarot and relationship readings, and you can also get my daily push notifications going exactly when the astrology is hitting. It's honestly one of the most favorite things everybody's saying. Check it out now at leoking.lookstack. Dot com. But before we take a look at all the planets, let's take a look at the Leo King Planet Energy Meter to understand where all the energy is for your Wednesday. And I hope you're having a happy, happy hump day. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Sending you all my love and all of my light into this day. And I am putting the Planet Energy Meter at the extreme position. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, this is a very, very unique and very powerful day. Number one, we have a new moon happening today. This is where the sun and the moon are gonna meet up in the exact spot, and this is a very powerful seeding event. This is all while at the same time, Mars and Venus were get, are getting ready for their conjunction in the next couple days. So, kind of like a double seed happening, and this is a very rare new moon because this is happening for the second time in the sign of Aquarius, and then literally moments after the new moon happens, the new moon then comes into Pisces, and we change into the sign of Pisces. And there are four other energies in Pisces, so we're going to have six energies in Pisces. Let me tell you, weird day. I think it's magical. I think it's mystical. I think it's very unique, as I think that there are special things for me in our life now. This could be very big epiphanies happening, a lot of electricity, uh, excitement, but also that feeling of you know, needing to tap into the invisible, needing to tap into the other side, needing to tap into your feelings. You know, this is a, a, a very weird space because Aquarius and Pisces are two outer planets. That's what they rule. And they rule Uranus and then they rule, you know, Neptune. So having the new moon on this spot at the cusp of both of these signs, at the both of these planets, energies, make it very transcendental, make it very invisible, make it very mystical, make it very hard to understand. And it's so interesting because I think you have to tap into a higher dimension right now to really feel what's going on. This is, that, this is testing psychic energy and awareness more than you ever have in your life right now. You can feel and be very sensitive and understand what's going on behind the curtain. This is also Mercury making a nice powerful sextile over to Saturn, bringing a lot of stability and making the thoughts really do something with you know, the energy. And this is definitely a Saturn in Sagittarius theme right now of expansion, really having to research, having to really believe in the path. And I think that this is a time to really believe in what's going on underneath. We have this, this new moon happening at Aquarius. It's about epiphanies. It's about, you know, electricity. It's about figuring all the dots out. But then it all jumps into Pisces, the sign of really mystical energy, tapping into a higher conscious self. This is also where you could become very... Um, Unconscious too, but I feel that this is an energy going deep into listening behind the curtain. A lot of things being prepared, a lot of karma, a lot of fate, a lot of, you know, extreme energy. It's been a long time since we've had energy like this. Long, 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 long time. And on such a rare new moon to happen, this is seeding rare things. And it's a combination of a three day journey, I'd say, starting today, that this is definitely a whoop, whoop, fate train kind of karmic door closing and door opening for the next three days. That's because tomorrow you'll see we're going to have six planets still in Pisces and then it's all going to move into Aries with the Moon, Mars and Venus on Friday. And for that big seating event. So let this be a three-part day. Let this be a realization that, you know what, I think you're going to have to tap in deep within today. You're going to have to go really far within because this is energy that is very mystical, very sensitive, very invisible, very all over the place, very unpredictable, very exciting at the same time. But I think that you're going to have to keep an understanding of realizing that this is a buildup, that this is a very rare new moon. We don't see two new moons in Aquarius and wherever Aquarius lies in your sun sign or your natal chart, I think it's important to understand that's where it's hitting you very powerfully. And I would definitely take a look in your natal chart for that or watch my sun sign horoscopes on my apps or leoking.looksack.com. Thanks so much for all of your guys' support. Make sure you check me out there. I got everything there and it's going to be an awesome couple days here and I can't wait to see how it affects you in your life. Thanks so much and I will see you tomorrow.